everyone, it's Kaylee and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you can see, it's not the normal video that we do. Um, first of all, it is Halloween, October 31st. Um, I wasn't planning on making this video today, but I did. Um, so in today's video, I recreated or created um, a Pennywise Halloween makeup look. Um, I've seen this so many times. Um, I was looking through Pinterest and these kept popping up. It was this one and the um, purge, but I didn't have the white for the line and everything. So I thought I should do this and this looked a lot more difficult for me, kind of. Um, I don't really step out of my comfort zone for this, but it was really, really fun um, filming this and I thought it looked really cute and cool. Um, this could definitely be an option for your makeup look or for an outfit or a costume or something for Halloween. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And if you guys would like to know how to recreate this look, um, then just keep on For the first shadow that I'm going to be taking is this red shade right here, and it is called You're Kidding, and I'm taking the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush, and it looks like this perfect to do like a little cut crease moment, kind of like that to go, not like that, so I'm just going to put my hair back, and I have a mirror right here, so I'm just going to be looking there the whole time okay so i'm going to be taking the brush and taking whatever is on there off and i'm going to be dipping into your kidding which is this shade right here and then just tapping off the excess and kind of like doing a cut crease kind of but then it just goes out like a little wing so I should have taken my uh, mascara off, but um, kind of lazy. And then just dipping into it to make it more pigmented. To where it just looks like that and I'm gonna be doing the same thing to the other eye now that it just looks like that it's it doesn't have to be perfect I'm not a good at makeup at all like especially eyeshadow not the best so now that that just looks like this and kind of has that little out wing look I'm going to be taking this um, Morphe uh, JH33 brush and just taking whatever is on your eye and just kind of blending it out so there's no harsh lines. Um, that's like really important because you don't want it to be looking too harsh but you want it so you can see that there is like something there, you know, like it's a line. You want to be able to see it. But you just want to blend it out to where it's not harsh. Now that it is blended out, there's still the line where you can obviously see, like especially this red, it's super pigmented. So it's not gonna really cancel all of it out, but you know, just blend it to where you can see, um, you know, that it's not too harsh. 
since it is um, looking like not too pig, I mean not too um, dark and a little bit more pink, I'm going to go back into the same color, but on a more like precise br uh, brush. And I'm just taking this one. I don't know where I got it from, but I think, wait. No, I'm gonna take this one. I still don't know where I got it from. I got it on Amazon, but it just looks like this. So I can really focus it on um, that line, I guess. And then I'm gonna go back in with the same brush that we used to blend it and blend everything out. Well, now that that it looks like that, I'm going to be taking this um, Morphe M1708 brush. It just looks like this. And then I'm going to, um, I need spray. And then for the part that is like white right there, I'm going to be um, using my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and spraying this with the shade called ring light which is like this light kind of white shimmer to make it more pigmented than it just being dry and then I'm just going to be picking it up on the brush and then putting it on the place that is white just dragging it up here Now that the like light still, I mean light, white is right there, um, I'm going to be taking the same color that I used on the like the red and then putting it down here. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking the same red that I used, which is you're kidding, and then the same brush that we used the first time, and putting it like packing it all over the brush and tapping that excess off and kind of doing the um water line of your eyelids i mean like underneath your eye Okay, now that it is on your waterline, you're gonna be taking the same blending brush that you did uh, use before and then just blend all of that out so it's not so harsh. Moving on, okay, so the eyes are complete um, for right now. And then moving on, I'm gonna be doing the little nose that it has. So I'm going to be taking that same brush that we used and kind of, and taking the red again and kind of making a little circle on your nose, like a little red button.
You know what I mean? I literally look like Rudolph, the red nose right here. So that's what the nose looks like. I don't know why this looks more bright than the actual eyes, but we'll figure everything out. Um, I'm just gonna kind of tap it out so it's not too bright right now. Oh well. Okay, and then moving for moving on to, of course, the line, the red line that comes here and connects here. I'm going to be taking um, the same brush again and starting from the middle, going down, and then kind of going around like that, and then um, making it to where it's like the mouth right there. Now I'm gonna be taking the brush and just tapping it in there again, and then taking it to where it starts in the middle of the eye. I'm gonna bring it down like that. And then kinda going out. right there so it looks like that and I'm just gonna go over it again so it's more um, pigmented and of course I have to mess up I'm gonna go over with the same and go over the red on my eye. And then taking the brush and just blending it out. Okay, now that the eyes and this part is done, of course I got to have the little line that goes right there. So again, I'm taking the same JH42 brush and dipping it into the red again and just making a line right there. Kind of t um, where you did in the middle of this for this line, kind of go like right above it so it's like even and not like weirdly like separated no so can I go like that and then I'm taking a more precise brush that I used before and just kind of making it um, pointed at the top. So it looks like this. And the last but certainly not least, I'm going to, where did it go? I'm gonna be taking my NARS red lipstick. It just looks like this. I've used this so many times before, so it's very, very tiny. I'm not really sure of the name of this lipstick, but it is from NARS. I don't know if they still carry it or anything like that. So I'm just for my line for like liner. I don't want I want it to make it perfect. So I'm just going to be taking this like little tiny precision brush and putting the red all over it so I can make my own liner. So I don't really wear red lipstick, like I literally hate myself in red lipstick, but. And then I'm just gonna line my lips in the red.
now that it's kind of lined, I'm gonna be taking this and filling it in. So it looks like this. Um, of course, I'm gonna add some fake lashes. So I have these lashes right here. This is what the lips, this is like pretty much what the finished product looks like. But um, I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna add lashes. Of course, you don't have to if you don't like to, if you don't like lashes or anything. But I'm gonna be taking these lashes. Um, this girl that I know, she sells lashes. So I got them from her. I'm not really sure where she got them from, but they are beautiful. Um, it's kind of hard to show, but they just look like this, and I love these lashes so, so much. So, I'm going to be taking my tweezers, and I'm going to be taking, for the lash glue, I'm using the Duo Lash Glue. This looks like this. So, okay. So, this is what the finish look looks like, um, Pennywise at its finest. Um, I had it so much fun um, filming this video and recreating like the little Pennywise um, makeup look that everyone is doing for Halloween. Um, something different, definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't do these things like at all. I barely even do eyeshadow. Like, and then just doing this for Halloween um, was super fun. So um, definitely. I suggest if you guys have no idea or if you're just bored on Halloween or pretty much any day like just experimenting with makeup and everything I should honest I honestly recommend for you to try this it is super fun and this can be one of your um, Halloween looks for next year or this year um, but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed me um, filming and uh, creating this Pennywise look super red super pretty and yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications if you guys would like to get notified every single time I upload. And uh, without further ado, um, I will see you in my next video. Um, but this is like what it looks like really quick before. Of course, it's not perfect, but from a distance, it looks... A-okay. Um, but yeah.